Hi team and welcome back to my channel. So this video today is all about meal prep and meal planning. So the way that I do it is going to save you time and it's also going to save you money in your budget. So I thoroughly recommend that you do it this way. There'll be some great tips in this video for how you can effectively plan your meal week and get the most out of it. Shop your cupboards first. So the way that I like to do this is I'll clean out my freezer, I'll clean out my fridge, and I'll clean out my cupboard. So in doing that, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone. One, it gets all cleaned out and all the old stuff gets chucked. Two, I know how many, well, how much storage I have left in my cupboards to be able to put new stuff in, because we have a relatively small apartment, so sometimes we have to think about that. And the third thing is it lets me know what I already have in my cupboards already got that, don't need to buy those, and some meal ideas can start to flow. Next is to check out all of the specials that are going on at your local supermarket. The places that you like to shop, particularly ones that you might already have a card to. So I usually shop at Coles, so I have a Flybys card, and that's always useful to give you lots of points. But they also tend to email you out all of the specials for that week. So if there's anything in there that particularly floats your boat, write that down. So now it's time to get out your handy dandy meal planner. And mine, conveniently, is behind me. Ta-da! Stood here for a reason. Oh. So once you have your meal planner out, I only got mine at kind of like Kmart, it was only a couple of bucks. You can get them anywhere, any whiteboard, any scrap of paper that you can stick to your fridge will do. The first step, however, is not to write down meal ideas just yet. What we want to do is get out your diary, get out your day planner, get out your calendar. And I want you to transfer over things that you are doing that week. So for me, it'll be things like, oh, I'm working late this week, or I've got a workshop on that night, or I'm teaching over here, or I'm performing that night, or this is date night, scheduling date night. Put all of that stuff into your calendar, into your meal plan. So most important things to add in there are late nights, and where you are going if they're going to be during dinner times. So these kind of just give you an idea of what's happening during your week that you need to plan around. Next is to write in your meal ideas. So making sure you're taking into account all of those things that we've already looked at. So if you are working a late night, make it a quick and easy and simple meal. Also, make sure that you're scheduling in things like leftovers nights. Leftovers nights are the thing that is going to save you the most money. I cannot emphasize enough how important leftover nights are. Especially if you do have those late nights and you really don't want to have to cook. Or if you don't like cooking like some other people, it's already done, you don't have to think about it. The other thing to add in are things like defrost mitts. So put in little actions that I usually forget to do, add it onto your meal planner. And then you for certain will have the meat out, it will be defrosted, and you won't be stuck in a spot where you're like, oh, I don't have anything. Guess we're ordering out, because that is the trap that costs you money. Ordering out is so expensive. So let's try and curb that habit simply by planning our meals for the week. Lucky last on the steps is to write out your groceries list. So make sure that you're using those existing meals that you've got there, and then from that, write your grocery list. Cross off the stuff you know for sure is already in your cupboards. Add in a couple of things like, oh, I need this for lunch, or I need that for snacks, or I need this cleaning product. The other thing is that when you're going through the supermarket and you find your favorite things that are on special, stick to this rule. This is a fantastic rule that I stole from Jordan Page. She's amazing. I will link her page in the description below. Her rule is one for now, two for later. So if you see something, for us it's pasta sauce, that you eat all the time and it's on crazy good special, buy one for this week and two to stock in your cupboard. It might be a little bit more expensive this shop, but it's guaranteed to save you money later. So all you need to do is follow these couple of steps You'll save yourself a bunch of hassle, a bunch of time, a bunch of money. And now for my official YouTuber bit. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment, all that good stuff down on Majiggy. 
I have new videos coming out every Monday, so if you like what you see, stick around. Or if you have any ideas for other stuff that you'd like to see, anything you want advice on, just chuck it in the comment section below and I'll make some videos about it. As always, thanks for hanging out. Bye! <laughs> so excited about tacos. Yeet! <laughs> okay, alright, alright, easy.